Welcome back to Talladega. Here's the commander ready. Last Talladega event for this season. Now this could be a huge game changer right now. We currently have three drivers contending in this championship. Nick Persis has just stalled up. So after Fisher got another good finish, Robinson did not. He fall back just a little bit. He still has a lot of time left. He could still get there. There's Fisher right there. Where's Seth Brown? There he is. Three drivers. They're not too far from each other. Might do something evil like wreck them. Like, but I don't think I'll allow that. They will get penalized for doing that. Pace vans heading in the pit road. We're getting ready for another great Talladega race. Now I knew why the uh, other Talladega race was caution free. So after my edits, I don't think it will be. So Kyle and Curtis. Front row starters for today's race at Talladega. And there's the green flag. And there goes Sam Curtis. Drops to the inside. He already wants the lead. See, there's the 54 and the 17. They're all trying to work with each other. Lots of cars swapping them lanes here. Got the on the bottom. Got Fisher. Fisher actually goes to the middle line. Uh, he looks like he sets sights on the 34 car. Looks like he want to go four wide for the lead, but currently it's three wide. Sam can do it. Oh, well, that'll be dangerous. Though. Ashley Mongolian was there. And oh, oh, well, there we go. We got a wreck. How many cars involved? We got a couple of them. But they're still hitting each other. Seven cars involved. Oh man. Oh, there goes the double zero. Holy hell. Another flip. Another wrecked race car. Man, the double zero is also cursed in the game as well, not just real life. Caution is out on lap one. We hadn't had a wreck at that point, at that place for a long time. And we just had one right now. So let's just take a look at the replay. See what happened. Alright, I'm not sure what happened. If you hear any Skype thingies, I. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. Fisher could be penalized for doing that. I don't know if he did it on purpose or what, but as I mentioned way uh, right at the beginning, I feel like these championship drivers are going to wreck each other. Look at the double zero. He pops out of nowhere right in front of Brit Mongo, hits a hit on driver's side, and that thing rolls. That's Talladega for you. Only Ryan Newman was here to make a smart ass joke about Talladega. Okay, let's take you back to the restart. Getting ready for the green flag here. 21 cars left. 28th, the only driver a lap down. <clears throat> ah. American food. So here we go. Green flags out. Ashley Wong will actually make an unscheduled pit stop here. She restarts back there. Still got a lot of cars left, but some of them are damaged, and we'll count them out. Nick Purcell's getting a push from the 43. LaPlante did not want to go with Purcell's, so he jumps on the outside lane. That does not work. No one goes with him. Patrick Mew is right behind him, but of course he's not close enough. John Longo now pushes the 17, but there goes Nick. He's trying to get his lap back. Looking for another caution, but I don't think it's going to come out right now. Seth Brown currently the highest uh, runner for the championship. He's right there with the lead pack. Uh, these drivers, I don't think they got off to a good one. Burns, Brandon, Ashley, Noser, and maybe these guys. Maybe they're still car. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to them. So Ash Curtis takes the lead. Got the L7 of James Barker and Patrick Mew in third. There goes James to the inside. Patrick will follow. Here's the good old spectator cam where you can't really see the cars. I doubt we're going to see a caution with uh, 
this amount of cars. It could happen. It has happened. But not too often though. Patrick Mew jumps to the inside. He's trying to lap 28. He's currently the leader. Obviously. But, uh, yeah. Nick's trying to fall back in front of uh, Austin. A plan not going to work there. So he'll go back a lap. John Mongo in the 43 car, he's right there on the inside, he's trying to take the lead. There goes the 17, back to the bottom, Ashley Mongo has uh, got back with the pack, I guess. Got some help by doing that. Sam Curtis in the 12 car, he's right there, he's trying to push that 54, but that 43 just jumped down. So, let's see here. Ashley goes down, but Sam continues to be on the outside lane, and there goes John. That's a Talladega trick right there. Four wide here. Four wide, and only three of them are racing for position. Back to three wide. All right, we're safe. There goes Light Ashley Mongo down there. She's trying to take the lead, and she did. There goes uh, Patrick Coburn. 78 got a push. Nope, never mind. 28 jumps to the inside. He's trying to get back up front, waiting for another caution to come out. I don't know if there is going to be another caution. We already have enough wrecked race cars. I think this is already enough. There should be enough cars. Three wide. Ash Curtis now taking over again. Got Brandon and Seth right there. LaPlante trying to swap lanes. He has no room. Four wide again. Two rows of four wide, looks like. Oh, oh, contact. Browns all over the place, and oh, there we go. And I thought we weren't gonna wreck, and a lot of cars wreck. Get to the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, man. Sam and Ash just collided heavily. They're, they're smoking. They're racing it back. Patrick Coburn, I believe, has the lead. Nick is right there on the bottom. Copeland's gonna allow him to go, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna allow him to go. There's not back here. Did not see that coming. So we're gonna have a wreck. I didn't know the wreck was gonna be that big. For a pack this small. Here comes the plan. He's trying to he wants to leave this thing. Uh, no, that's not the plan. I mean uh Sam. They all got that black and yellow red yellow thingy type car. So Nick will get his lap back, he'll cycle his way through, Patrick Colbert will lead under this caution flag, we'll take a look at the replay. Yeah, I knew Seth Brown was gonna somewhat cause that wreck, the one, you know, one has already had a lot of bad luck, he may have picked up a couple wins, but overall his, he has a lot of DNFs, and Ash Curtis and all those drivers, Ashley, Joseph, they almost escaped until they got clipped, and then when, when they slide back down, Sam Curtis was trying to recover, and then Ashkers popped out of nowhere and BAM! And that puts both of them out of the race. Heavy damage on both cars. They're able to still roll, but they're done. So, I'll take you back to the restart now. Green flag just flew and here we go. 16 cars left. Does Nick even have enough time? He has a lot of slow cars in front of him. Check the, uh, the outside lane now. He's gonna try to get the draft off the 99. He can do it. But, can he make it? We don't have a lot of time left here. Patrick Coburn like trying to score another win. Well, first of the season. Will Burns trying to go for another. He's in second. Third is Sam. He's trying to push. He's also trying to get another win. <coughs> ah, okay. Needham was actually in fourth. He was actually trailing, and he has some help from James Barker. He could be in this thing. Looks like he will be, as long as he doesn't blow up a wreck. Brandon and Seth, they might be still in this thing. We'll just have to wait and see. Some of these drivers are actually maintaining somewhat of the, somewhat of the pack speed, the leader speed. I don't know. So we're just paying attention to the 28. Just uh, let's see if we can make his right history be the first lap driver and to recover and to win the race. It actually happened one time, but the race, I screwed up the race, so that never happened. So, uh, yeah, so we're just waiting on Nick to see if he can do it. Maybe, maybe not, but he has caught back. 
And Seth Brown puts the block on him, and Nick's trying to go to the outside. And whoa, Brandon dro almost dropped down again. That could have been another s bad wreck. There goes Sam to the inside. He's trying to get it. Neham's trying to recover some bad luck. Let's see if he can break it. Break the bad luck streak. He has one win this season, but that came very, very, very early. And he's last, I don't know, 10,000 races. He hasn't been doing well. He's trying to get the draft off the 17. And no one's helping him behind. Burns and Nick, here we go. Still waiting to see if 28 can do it. It's currently a five car battle for the lead. Sam's got a small gap between himself and the 226. And there goes Burns and Nick. Nick leaves Burns alone. Coburn will follow him. And Nick will go after third, but Coburn has a fast car as well. Seth Brown, Hayden. James are also in this. Let's see if Brandon and maybe Rob might have a chance here. Maybe, maybe not. Here goes Nick. He's on the outside, uh, inside. There it. Burns jumps in, and he goes back up. I don't know what that was for. He just did it, and now Brown jumps to the inside. He'll take the spot away. Coming to the white flag here. The 17 has still got uh, somewhat of a small lead, or enough to be in the safe zone. Nick is trying and trying and trying to get that. And now he jumps to the inside. I don't know how Sam is doing this, but oh, here goes Patrick Coburn. He led a couple, and once Sam took, away, took the lead away from him, he just stood there. But he might get the run here, we just have to wait. And here comes Colburn, he wasn't one of the cars who wrecked and he has a good run here. Nick will follow him. He's in third. Trying to write history, he's trying to get the draft off the 17. He's trying to push the 17. Patrick Colburn side drafting. He's trying to break the draft there. It's a dead heat to the line. Nick is going to find a way, he's going to make look to the middle. He's still pushing. He's still pushing the 17 and look at him go. Nick does not have any room. Sam will take the checkered flag here at Talladega. What a race. To the end. Not very exciting, but wow. Could not break the draft. Well, it was pretty much impossible to break the draft like that. He needed someone. He had a good run, but Nick decided to go with into Sam. And that scores Sam as a victory. And puts Nick in second. That's amazing, at least. He almost got the win, but he didn't. Let's take a little four races else here. Eight more races to go. Sixteen cars finish today's race at Talladega. Sam takes the victory. Here's the rest of the race results. So Seth Brown, the highest finisher of the championship battle. And uh, Jacob Robinson out, finished 22nd. Fisher out, another bad finish, 26th. And now to take you to victory lane. Add them points.